Okay. Shalom. Shalom. Kwam yasha Allah. Koholoim la. Yehawah bashim yawashai bahashim rakha hakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, I went off into, I Googled blood drive. And the reason why I've done it is because, you know, they had one at the plantation today. So, you know, they kind of. You know, we have a, a nice little cafeteria area, but it's got a curtain to it, so to speak, that, you you know, you can kind of separate the rooms, almost like a ballroom, so to speak. But, you know, one half of the cafeteria was still where you can just go and get food and and coffee and stuff like that. But, you know, they did have it split off and separated where you couldn't see the other side. So they had these. They even actually had a damn ambulance in the building, you know, because that's how big the building is, you know, where they got places where they can kind of drive off in there. But um, they had like tables set up, you know, with the people laying on, and they was doing these things, and every, you know, all these Edomites, which the so-called white man, all these Edomites, hey, they was they was going in there, laying down and giving blood, and you know, I'm like a minority in there. It's only like maybe, maybe two or three, four or five Japes that's in there, so-called black people in there, and um, you know, the other, I would have to say, it's got to be at least hundred, maybe two hundred employees there. The rest of them are so-called white people. But, you know, they was just laying there and shit, just giving blood, you know, and they was looking at me basically like, you know, are you going to like, you know, and, you know, they they love um, having you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American blood. They love your blood. Trust me when I tell you they prefer to have yours. <laughs> but, you know, I'm like, nah, nah, you, you're not getting a droplet of this blood here. So, you know what I'm saying? I kept passing them up, you know. And, um, you know, everybody looking at me like, you're not going to, no, I'm not going to, I don't give a fuck. I ain't even talk to him about it. Like, we ain't, I don't even want to bring, don't bring the subject up to me because I don't even want to have the type of answer that I'm going to give you come out. You know, I'm trying to keep wisdom here and just do my little thing and get the hell away from here. I'm just here to get my daily bread. Y'all not getting no damn blood out of me. But it dawned on me that the so-called white man, let me get this quick scripture real quick, that he's so in control. This is how you know that this is his kingdom. This is how you know that um, he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. When you go to Job 9 and 24, you know, it's reasons why we bring out this scripture. It's so many things that this man is in control of that humans basically shouldn't be in control of like that. This man is in control of our very, very life, man. You know, he, he he has told us that we're free, but he can actually draft you into his military. And if you don't go, he can imprison you. That lets you know the power that he has over you, though he's saying you're free. Anyway, Job 9 and 24. It's going to be a quick lesson, uh, but it, it reads, um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So this man, he, we know that he's the wicked because he's in control of the earth. Because you can be, I think the, the name for a person that draws blood is, um, I think it's a phlebotomist. I might be wrong. You know, it's a lucky if so. But one of, um, I know a, a brother, you know, that I used to deal with back in the days, you know what I'm saying? One of my worldly homies before I came into this truth, you know, he went to school for it. And, you know, he, he made pretty decent money doing it, you know, and then he went on to, you know, follow up and, you know, further his education. But that's what he was doing at first. So now I'm just saying, for for instance, if he were to say he's at his house, he knows how to do it. He's been to school for it. He does it as a for a job every day. He's an expert at it. You know what I'm saying? He just that's what he does. He draws blood. He know how to hit the vein. He knows how to, you know, relax the person, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So say, for instance, he wanted to do that at his house. If they caught him doing that shit at his house, no matter he, no matter if whether or not he's trained or not, they're going to take his ass to jail. Why? Because it's not within his power to do so. But the so-called white man, he can do that. You know, he, he he's the one that, you know, he has, you know, his Walgreens set up. He has his CVS set up. You know, he's the original drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, anybody else trying to do that, you know, he's going to come and arrest you. Because you have to have his licenses and his permits to do such a thing. And that's why when you go off into um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 as well. Uh, what is that? 28 and up. Uh, because this is one of the curses that went under right here. Deuteronomy 28, I think it is 48. 
Slovakia. Yeah, um, 48. Deuteronomy 28 and 48, it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. So we have to go to this man for hunger, thirst, you know, food, water, clothing. Um, if you want to be anything, you want to have a job, you want to, um, you have to, you know, show up with your social security number, which he, you know, issues to you. You know, you have to have a state ID, which he issues to you, um, you know, so on and so forth, birth certificate, whatever, you know, he's in control. He's in control to the point where he can have his people. He, he has laws set up where you can come and give him blood. You see that? So that lets you know the situation that we're in as a people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We have no power. We absolutely have no power. The Lord said that right here, it says again, it says that um, the Lord will send these people against us. These people are our enemies. He will send these people against us. And it's for um, the disobedience of our people. That's why it's so important to, you know, um, to come out of this place, you know what I'm saying, to uh, get away from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know, see, our people right now, they're out and about right now. I just, um, you know, came from Walmart not too long ago, you know, grabbing some things for dinner and all this other little stuff like that that was needed for the house, whatever. But, hey, Jake is in there, you know, um, grabbing shit for Thanksgiving. You know, buggies full of damn hams, you know what I'm saying? Um, cranberry sauce, dressing. So, our people are about to sit down and have dinner to the murders of, you know, our people, the Gadites. Which is the so-called Native American Indians, but they are the tribe of Gad from the tri from the children of Israel, you know. So well, let's get this real quick. Micah two and ten. I'm just flowing in the spirit. I just was at the plantation and I'm looking like these motherfuckers got the power to set up shop and take blood. <laughs> Micah two and ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction." So. The Lord is not saying pack a bag, you know, get on a plane and go to Australia or some shit. You know, it's, he's saying in a, in, in mentally, spiritually, you have to come out of the mindset of these Americans, man, out of the mindset of the so-called white man. Because you have our people that they'll actually go and sit down and, and, and get blood because the so-called white man is giving them this song and dance about how you can save lives. Save whose lives? And then that's not even scriptural, man. You know, it's not scriptural, man, that you go and um, allow somebody to draw no fucking blood from you, man. You know, and then you putting that blood into someone else. But see, this is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, man. He has this God complex, which goes and see he's being um, he's being identified today. Now, this is Second Thessalonians two and three right here. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And this is the this is the so-called white race. They're the ones that's all out in space, you know, with satellites and got cameras everywhere and want to watch it. They want to be all knowing like how the most high is. They, you know, they want to. The Lord gave us fruits and vegetables. What did this guy do? He give you, uh, uh, you know, genetically modified foods. He's basically saying I can do better than God. You know, he's tampering with the water. He's tampering with the air. He's out here basically, you know, um, you know, trying to show you that he can perform miracles. He's the healer. He can heal you. And he won't give no credit to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the things that he's using. Because all the creations that he actually had, he can't create anything. He can't think up anything unless it's coming from something that the Lord already created anyway. But he won't give the Lord that credit. So he, this man of sin, the son of perdition, is being revealed. And, you know, you know, I just wanted to just do a quick lesson on this because I just seen that like, God damn, this man. See, when you come into this truth, you start to see things through a spiritual lens. You start to see things like, damn, this motherfucker got so much power that he can set up shop and take blood from humans, man. Store it and take it somewhere and, 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 and so-called filter it, 
you know, and then do an operation and give it to somebody else, bro. This is this shows you that's Job nine and twenty four. You can't tell me that this man is not the the the, the um the wicked man. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So called black people not gonna be. You can't do no shit. Try that shit. Try it. They gonna be coming to your crib if you doing it. Say you doing it out of your house. <laughs> They come into your house and they find some vats of blood. It's gonna they're gonna set that bitch up as a crime scene. You going to jail. And though they may not find no bodies or any of stuff any of that, you can be well, you know, I you know, low key I was, you know, um you know, uh, you know, basically just drawing blood. You tell them that they don't give a shit, they're gonna give your ass some time. They're going to go into article this. You broke this. They're going to put... Man, them motherfuckers to throw 20, 30 fucking laws broken on your ass, man. And this is how this man is getting down. But see, we have to point him out as being the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Because I'm telling you, he's the one that's in control. And and and, and see, you got all these other countries. You know, they've drunk up the, of the wine of the so-called American white man. And now, you know, and then, you know, they started to do such things. You know, they have their hospital set up. They're, you know, trying to do these motherfuckers are trying to do brain implants. You know, this you, you got the so-called white man out here uh, with um, Elon Musk. Say, for instance, Elon Musk, they, they didn't set it up. FDA, which is ran by the so-called white people, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, have approved for the so-called white man to put a fucking chip in your head. Come on, you're not going to tell me these people are not in control. And then, like I said, again, you got the other heathen, like, you know, the so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese. You know what I'm saying? All these nations have the power to actually do stuff like that. Ultimately, the so-called white man, he's in the, you know, he's the biggest. I would say he's the biggest business of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but these other nations, they copy, they try and copy America. So, you know, they come here to the Americas, so to speak, or, you know, one of these so-called white people's colleges, Cambridge, Oxford, Princeton, Harvard, all these different places. They learn that shit. They go back to their countries and then they start to perform what the so-called white man has shown them. You see, and even even with that, he's in control of the universities. He's in control of the curriculum. He's in control of how you learn stuff. You know how I many so-called black people this man, and you know, them fucked over, you know what I'm saying, to learn a lot of the medicines that he called medicine? Then skint Jake, you know, that done all kinds of things to our people. But see, we have to bring these types of things right here out, man. This man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. Because I went off into it, you know, I kind of brought it up, you know, like what's the purpose of a blood drive? You know, and you know they 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 they, they taking everything, bro. They not just taking blood, they plasma. Y'all don't know all the differences in this stuff, but you know, let me see here, because they have a you know people also ask, you know, what's the meaning of blood drive? I put that in. Um, it says, what is the goal of a blood drive? And you know, to give you a little information, it says a blood drive is an event that gives community members the opportunity to donate blood and help save lives with the American Red Cross. Blood drive sponsors provide the space, recruit donors, and schedule donor appointments and are an essential part of a reliable blood supply. See? Yeah, I'm telling you, this man this man is a damn vampire, man. This some this one says, what does a blood drive feel like? Um, why do blood drives exist? Let's see what that one says. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Blood is essential to help patients survive surgeries, cancer treatment chronic illnesses and traumatic injuries and a lot of this stuff right there man it's it's caused by the so-called white man this life saving care starts with one person making a generous donation and you know what too you know you know when you get that driver's license too you know they they want you to you know they have that option of you being a, a organ donor man don't do that shit man <laughs> you 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 a first time you know you a young younger person you a first time um you know License getter, so to speak, man. Don't don't sign no shit talking about you can get my organs, man. Nope, don't 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 do it. Even though you know Esau, man, he'll take your shit. He'll take your damn organs, man, and get to talking about how you save lives. Our five lives were saved. You use the kidneys over here, the lungs over there, the heart over there. This man is transplanting fucking hearts, man. That let you know he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. 
You're not going to get around that. This one says, are blood drives healthy? Of course, they're going to tell you they are. Regular blood donation is linked to lower blood pressure and lower risk for heart attacks. It definitely helps to reduce cardiovascular risk factors. Uh, who should not donate blood? Okay. How much blood do you lose in a blood drive? The average adult has around 10 pints of blood, roughly 8% of your body weight, making a blood donation usually about one pint after which your body has an amazing capacity to replace all the cells and fluids that have been lost. But they won't give Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah his, his props, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know all that. You know all this about the human body, and you'll say that the Lord doesn't exist. Like, there's no way that uh, uh, our bodies, the way that we're created, you, know, um, um, you know, move about, and the things that, that's going on with us in a body, brain, heart, lungs, and everything just coinciding together. There's no damn way that that came from a Big Bang Theory. But they'll tell you that. They don't give the Lord no props at all. You know, they just like, oh, look at us. Look at our technology. Look at how far along we've come in, in um, medicine. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us, you know. Anyway, I've, I've done, I've gone long enough. There's so many. <laughs> uh, they have one, um, Platelets. I'm not even sure what platelets are. It says, why can females not donate platelets? Okay, so this is a male thing. For instance, we can't we can't use platelets from female donors because of the increased risk of a rare but dangerous reaction called transfusion related. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Anyway, they're taking even that. They're taking all kinds of shit from people. Anyway, I'm going to, you know, end it out there. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to just do a quick lesson on that just to just show that um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, wherein, who is he? If this man is not the wicked, then who is? He's in control of the air, you know, who can fly a plane. He's in control of who can, you know, have a damn um, tanker or a ship out in the ocean or a submarine. He's in control of all that stuff. He's in control of, you know, his faces on the money. You know, he's in control of, you know, you can't just run up on this motherfucker. He asking you, who who are you? You can't just tell him who you are. No, you have to have his ID to prove that you are who you saying you are. <laughs> so on and so forth. And there's so many other things that you can think of. Just think of anything. And he's in control of it. That's how you know this is his kingdom, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.